What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video for Starfield. This is going to be a little bit longer, but you're going to want to stay. I'm currently standing on one of my turrets on my new ship, the Omen. You'll see that at a later date. Uh, it's a lot faster than my last ship. It won't be a ship build, but I'll show you what the ship can do later on. But that's not what we're here for. I'm going to give you some tricks, some tips. Some you might already know, some you might not. Uh, to this day, I know there's one that people still talk about in their videos, and that's what is the trick to picking a lock? Like, how do you know which one you're going to get? How do you know that you can pick the lock? Well, I'm going to show you the exact way you can pick the lock. It's a trick, but it's not a trick. But it is a way for you to pick and be successful at picking a lock almost 90 to 95 percent so you can do that i'm going to show you how you can loot the siren and the stars in case you didn't know you can loot the entire ship um there's going to be a couple funny things in there i'm going to show you where to get the last couple pieces of evidence because you actually only need 14 pieces of evidence not not more than that then I'm going to show you a small little um, activity. It's not, it's not really a quest because you don't get anything from it, but it's kind of cool to get it just to see where it is. And then you're going to see the fruits of your labor for the evidence that you got. And then I'm going to show you how to leave, not escape, but leave SY90 and just walk out the front door and fly your ship away and no need to escape. No need to avoid any gunfire. They will tell you, have a safe trip and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to show you how to walk right out the front door. So let's get into the video. Well, the rest of the video because I've been talking too much shit already. But uh, let's go there and let's have some fun. All right, everybody. Let's look at the lock picks. Look at the bottom where the Y button is. It says auto slot. They do stack up so if you do every time you unlock something they stack up and i mean they you get one but if you don't use it they will stack up so we're gonna, even though i could do this one we're gonna unlock this uh by using an auto slot first and then we're going to obviously there's just one slot that we need to do we can do that and then we're gonna cycle through all of these to see which ones they are but if you don't know which one it is on the Xbox I don't know what it, I forget what it is on the computer click down on the right stick and it will eliminate all the unnecessary uh, digi picks that you don't need so all of these are just the ones that will open this particular lock that is that is the trick that's the little trick for it there's nothing mysterious about it it's just an easy way to do it. And you can do it with any lock from novice all the way to master. It does help. So, and even though I can do a lot of them on my own, I decided to use those just so I can get through it quick. And that's it. And you just grab everything and mosey on them. Once you go to Siren of the Stars, after you talk to Rokoff, you want to go straight up the stairs, go past that vending machine, and go into Rokoff's room. And on the stand there is the next piece of evidence. Now it's not the last piece of evidence that's going to get you to finish burden of proof. The last piece of evidence, excuse me, is the Must you continue? this charming excuse ray of sunshine here. And why in I remember one time I was doing it and I was like, well, I could blow you out the airlock. That doesn't come up anymore and I don't know why. Um, I, f I gotta look at my other character and see what my other character has. He's got intimidation. Uh, she's got intimidation, so probably what it is. So go downstairs because you want to mess with the uh, life support. Manipulate this woman and have her open that door for you. And then just go talk to the chief engineer. And I didn't talk to him except for I left one thing in. Whatever you do, don't break anything. Or I'll be out of a job. 
And it's just because I like the way he said uh, job. That's it. I just, it, it cracks me up. And I know it's just his accent in there, but I like the way he says it, so I left it in there. <clears throat> Once you're here and you turn off all three switches for the life support, now you are free to loot this entire ship. Whatever you can find, whatever's here, you can loot everything. The guards don't care. This woman doesn't care. I think it was a woman in there. They don't care. You can loot anything off of the Siren of the Stars. The only time they'll still shoot at you is if you try and kill somebody. So if you try and kill Gabriel or you kill Zombrowski, they will go after you. But you can take everything you want. There's more contraband on this desk over here. Verona uh, heretic writing and a backpack or a boost pack and a helmet and then there's credits in here and you can see the person stood at the desk so they didn't go anywhere so you, you can just uh, continue going upstairs <coughs> And we've got just credits on the right hand side and we're gonna go all the way over because there's some uh, liquor over here and there's more liquor behind here exotic liquor so let's get that straight because they ain't getting drunk on just anything if they wanted to get drunk on just anything they would have bought a a 40 a coat 45 I'm just saying so we go to this door this door opens and there is a safe in here <coughs> we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna use the auto slot and then we're gonna eliminate the keys so I used to be a thief when I was younger so I used to steal shit from people right in front of their face like I remember working one time and this dude was talking to me and I stole his keyboard right in front of him like he's talking to me and I'm, I'm like I walked away with his keyboard I mean I, I couldn't understand how he didn't notice that the keyboard was missing until I went back to my desk and then he he yelled my name he was like dude <clears throat> I was like what he said did you take my keyboard I was like no nah, I ain't take shit um I was lying back then. I'm not a criminal no more, and I don't lie anymore. So, but I told my kids that I took. You know, it was a funny. It was a funny story. I wasn't doing it to be an ass or nothing like that. I just thought it was funny. Because <clears throat> I had told the dude, I said, you know, I used to be a thief. I could steal anything. He was like, no, you can't. I was like, yeah, watch me. And I really thought he was gonna see me. He was watching me. And I still stole it. More liquor. And if you want to get drunk, look at it. Check this out. There's nothing but Chardonnay all on that wall. You can take every single one of those. Every single one. And there's food here. You can take those little lemons. And I don't need any of that. I got like 2 million credits. So I don't need any of that. All I've been doing now is using money to buy... Um, ammo and I bought another ship just for the hell of it so nothing else here so we're gonna go through here and now we're in Gabriel's room now we already paid him off so I already have the second piece of evidence now you can open these boxes but you don't want to steal anything from him yet because he can't be looking at you so the you're gonna see this this is gonna flip over and I already stole what's in the box. Now behind that door, there's more stuff, but I didn't go in there. Well, I did go in there, but I didn't put it in the video. <clears throat> Once you're back there, there is some stuff, but he can't see you. Now the only reason I didn't I didn't put it in the video is because it, I was waiting a long time for this fool to turn around and not look at me. So I wanted was there. The reason I didn't take the other ammo is because I didn't need it. I, I don't have any of those guns so and he just he's suspicious and 
This time I didn't tell him I was working with the Crimson Fleet. I told him I was undercover with the UC. So once you pay him, he gives you a data slate with Zombrowski stuff on it. So that is it. That's the only pieces of evidence you need left. So after you talk to Zombrowski and he gives you his information, come into his back room. There's some credits. And there's one, I think there's four in here, maybe. Yeah. Four stuff in the travel bag. There's stuff in there, but I didn't do that. Now, you can't uh, manipulate Gabriel or Zombrowski or Swift. Now, I did pickpocket Swift, but she notices you right away and she starts running. I was going to put in a video, but it's five minutes of me running after her. And every time she stops and you try and pick her pocket again, she starts running. So it was just five minutes of me chasing her around. It was funny, but I didn't want to put in a video. It was just too much. So. <clears throat> I have no idea why I stayed here. I was going to try and pick his pocket, but he ain't got shit. So. Once you leave his room, because you got everything you need from him. Just follow the nice little arrows and you're going to return to, well actually you want to come in here. This is a laundry room. There's some stuff here, but you want to steal these people's draws. So you better hope they washed already. If not, there's going to be shit stains all over that shit. Just hope there ain't nothing on there. Hope they, they washed them and dried them and they used some fabric softener or something like that because nobody wants dirty draws and you can sell these dirty draws and get some money for them. I mean, I know I said I could steal anything when I was younger, but I never stole draws from anybody. I could tell you a story about draws, but it ain't appropriate for this video. <laughs> And it had nothing to do with me. So, return to Zombrowski after you steal the draws. Sure there is a whole bunch of other stuff on this uh, on this ship. So make sure you check everywhere. Um, I just didn't check everywhere. I did check everywhere. I just didn't put it in the video because it would take too long. But this, I want to show you specific. As you're leaving, don't go to your ship right away. Turn on the first door. And you will find two spacesuits. And then when you turn around, you'll find a helmet. If you hear anything in the background, I guess somebody's either moving in or moving out. Because that just sounded like a truck backing, if you didn't hear that. But now it's time to leave. That is the omen. You haven't seen it yet. There will be a small video of that omen fighting. Now, when you're done with that, instead of going back to um, Delgado or to um, the Legacy, come here and go to Bog. It's going to tell you to go back to Delgado, but just come here, do Bog's uh, side quest. It's not necessary. I mean, he pays you, but it's not necessary because you already have enough evidence. Um, to finish everything and you'll see why when I go to her I'll give her some evidence she won't even take this until after she tells you that you finished the burden of proof so I turned invisible I didn't feel like fighting anybody so I just turned invisible and I just kept going I just didn't feel like it wasn't that I can't beat them obviously I can especially if I use my phase X I can just you know slow them down shoot them up and everything like that and I was just like you know what just turn invisible grab what you need to grab and get out so I did that I came in here waited until they moved out of the way and went to the box and the very first thing in the box is the evidence now there's a ton of evidence because there's still evidence with uh, Jasper Crisp uh, Crisp Jasper Cricks there's evidence in other places, but like you do a side quest for the nurse inside the key. 
you can get paid for that but once you have 14 pieces of evidence that's it you don't need any more and what's funny is most of the evidence that you saw that I showed you oh I don't give this this mother I I can't stand her I don't give her shit when she asked did you get the service award no I ain't I ain't get it and then she tells you Oh, you had one job. Yeah, my job was to uh, get those credentials, motherfucker. That's it. My job was not to get you the award. Go get that shit yourself. That's not my job. My job was to steal some uh, some information. This is a cool little thing you can do. When you get back to the vigilance, instead of going to talk to Akande right away, go up the stairs and you're going to hook a left. Now, you don't get anything for doing this, but <clears throat> if you talk to the bridge uh, to the brig officer, he wants to know how the conditions of the lock was. Um, so he asks you to do a little, a little side mission. It's not necessary. It gives you nothing. Like, you don't get points. You don't get experience. You don't get paid or nothing like that. But it's just something that's just really fun to do. So you just activate it and then when you're done talking to Delgado just put that on and then you can see where the evidence is you can go and grab it and all it is is part of Jasper Crisk's uh, Crisk's uh, interview and then oh, all you're going to do is take it right back to the, the brig Jasper officer the that's it and you'll see what happens when I take it back to him. I don't know why the hell I did that with my cursor. I really I have no idea. Oh, there's the ship. Uh-oh. See the back of the ship? Uh-oh. I hate that the interview continues to go on or whatever they're talking about on a on a data it really gets on my nerves. I mean if you talk to somebody else right away it stops and it won't start again but it's a pain in the ass. So just go back up. No, I went the wrong way. I went upstairs and then I realized I gotta go downstairs. So, my dumbass turned around, went downstairs. Again, you don't get anything for this, but it's just kind of cool to find out why he wanted it in the first place. And look at that, I didn't even know where I was going. I was, what the hell am I doing? You, I have no idea why I went back to my ship. I really don't. Some of the stuff I was recording yesterday, some of the stuff I was recording today, and I don't know what the hell I was doing. I was just, I was just losing it. So just go back up the stairs, and then go to the brig, and give him the uh, the interview that he wanted. Some of the guards don't take. So it's true. All my life, I've been led to believe the guards on the lock were heroes. There was part of me that always doubted the story. Even as a child learning about the history from the slates. Thank you for bringing me this. I get that Crix is about as unreliable a witness as they come, but I believe him. This okay, when you come back here, you'll see I have evidence for her. Well done. Let's see what you... Tisk, tisk. Now what's cool about going to the brig, make sure you go to the brig just so you can laugh at these people that are that have been arrested. I can tell you I have not and I never will join the Crimson Fleet. That's just... Any other fragments? I know people would be like, how come? And it's just because... I don't know, that's just my nature. I don't know. It makes me sick. According to my superiors at MAST, we've provided them enough data to wrap up this portion of the operation and call it a success. You've brought us a mountain of evidence against the Crimson Fleet, 
and uncovered some unexpected criminal activity. You've done a hell of a job. I wish that Jillian Toff was one of the people you could, um, up on you more than I expected. You know, anyway, here. romance or whatever, because she's she's really cool. I, I, you know, she just seems like a cool character. Like if you could take her on your ship with you, she look like she can kick some ass. You would take her with you, but you can't. And what's funny is they tell you if you want to stay after you're done with a mission, if you want to stay. You don't really talk to them at all, and then sooner or later the vigilance just disappears. So it doesn't matter. So she gives you a nice uh, gun, and you can go after her and give her more evidence. And whatever evidence you give her, she's still going to pay you. But you're already done. That's some more evidence from behind uh, the doctor's office. You can pick uh, the lock. You can pick pocket his um, special stuff. But what you can do is that dude, whatever he did, he went upstairs and he opened the door for the security office. Now, I already had the, you know, picked what I needed from the doctor so I can get out of here. But I like seeing a dude jump all the way to hell up there. So I just opened the control, the, you know, I just opened the door. And you can see that door open and then watch this in case you didn't know. Duty pilot? Access granted. Be sure to head to the control center and schedule the flight. And good luck. I mean, the man saw me do the shit right in front of him, and then he was just like, good luck. Now, there's more stuff to see. You can loot more stuff here now. If you, have, if you do this mission, you know you can steal everything from Juan Dayu's ship. So you can steal everything from her ship, from her cargo, everything you can steal from her. But now what you want to do is come upstairs and you want to authorize or schedule a, a test flight. And that's it. Now, if you ever done it before where you just grab the ship and take off, they'll start attacking you. Man, they're just going to let you walk right out. And they're going to tell you, let us know if you have any problems. And they just let you go on with your life. <laughs> That's it. So, there's a whole bunch of stuff over here that you can steal. Um, this is a lock. I think I put it in there, but it was, it was advanced. But I had, you know, I still did it the same way. I did everything that I wanted. And I did this just so you guys can see it. Not because I needed it, but it was it was just something I wanted to show you guys and you know just in case. So you can see that it does work almost every single time. So we get some stuff in there, stuff that you can sell, and there is stuff over here. Do not forget to grab the stuff that is right outside the, the door. See there's uh, ammo there, more ammo, a gun. A Grendel a boost pack and a whole bunch of shit in there and then time to go in the ship the prototype ship now anytime you go in a ship always try and loot the ship before you take it out and like once you take it out it's always gonna be there uh, it's gonna be in your own cargo And that's it. They have no idea that you're stealing the ship. It's got the comm spike on it. And that's it. Just just go back to the key and dock. And that's it. I wish we could keep this ship or duplicate the ship. I really like it. Uh, but we can't. So I hope that helped you out. If you didn't know about any of these tricks. I hope it did. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm going to be doing 
some baseball next week. I will try and put up a video of my new ship uh, in battle, but other than that, do me a favor. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.